they're teeny tiny. Look at that. They were born yesterday. Perfect timing, huh? The Marine Discovery Center's mission is to protect and restore Florida's coastal and Indian River Lagoon ecosystems through education, research, and community stewardship. What I think I like most about our mission is that we don't succeed unless we engage the community in everything that we do. It's the essence of the idea of what education can do ultimately. And that is raise awareness and open up your mind to what we have at stake to protect the Indian River Lagoon. At the Marine Discovery Center, we really focus on hands-on, feet wet outreach programs. The best way to teach kids is just to get them outside and let them experience the world for themselves. At the Marine Discovery Center, we offer school programs, we offer camp programs, we offer public lecture series, we offer uh, these parent-toddler groups for a variety of ages. We offer a general boat tour, we offer kayak tours. We offer opportunities for the public to get out and engage in citizen science. The Indian River Lagoon has always been a place where people want to live along its shores. There's evidence of natives living here for thousands and thousands of years, recognizing what an important resource this is. It's home to thousands and thousands of species that use this shallow estuary. The boundaries of the Indian River Lagoon have just been expanded a little bit north of Ponce Inlet and they include Tomoka State Park and parts of the Halifax River. The cities along the lagoon really, um, really benefit from having such a beautiful treasure at their doorstep. The Indian River Lagoon is North America's most biologically diverse estuary. Without the Indian River Lagoon, we would lose a very large piece of what makes Florida what it is. It's something that is vitally important to everything that goes on around here, and it's in trouble. A lot of the issues we've been having in the Indian River Lagoon for the past few years and even decades are due to pollutants coming into the lagoon. There's plenty of things that we can do as a community to lessen that impact and improve the water in the Indian River Lagoon. Through volunteer work, through business partnerships, we were able to not only educate through a public lecture or through some type of an event that they might come to here, but then go ahead and say, well, this is just round one. You know, round two is when you actually come out with us, get your hands on and feet wet, and really understand living shorelines and coastal restoration. The property here in New Smyrna Beach was the former New Smyrna Beach High School. If you were to look at the boundaries of the property, it's beautiful. It's mangrove swamp and salt marsh and creeks that meander all around it. But then if you were to look at the property itself, it's a big rectangle of fill dirt. The Habitat Restoration Project first involves a lot of machines and moving of around 100 dump trucks of earth a day. The Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission brought in about 25,000 plants. And at first, after that happened, you look at it and you're kind of like, okay, well, 
you know, you can see that this it's not just flat anymore, but it looks kind of weird because there's just like, you know, it's just sand and there's these little plants everywhere. You come here a, a couple years later and you're like, whoa, the difference is amazing. We had volunteers spend over 650 hours working in the marsh. It's awesome to see people coming out and visiting this with their kids and their grandchildren and say, I was a part of this. I helped to create this. It's really become a research, education, and a restoration model for our region. Seeing the impact on children's awareness of their environment and their connectivity to the environment is just probably our most important thing that we can do in our mission. You know, I, I, I always remember the, the very first time that our boat left the dock with a group full of kids. And, you know, the, the curriculum went out the door. It didn't matter. It was all about exploration and discovery.